Nog 8 uh, seconden. Wesley Hendricks speelt nog eens een keer in op uh, Veder. Nog een schot uh, op Doeman uh, in zijn gaan. En dan uh, zit de wedstrijd uh, erop. En dan uh, winnen uh, de Younes uh, Flyers de laatste wedstrijd in de reguliere competitie met 5-1 van de Nijmegen Devils. En, uh... Mike Nason, why is it always you seem to be a little bit struggling against Nijmegen? I don't know what it is. I mean, 5-1 isn't really struggling in my mind, but um, they do give us some good pressure and they seem to... They seem to That's what I meant. Yeah. I understand, um, but uh, I think they uh, they do a good job on their forecheck and they take away our time. And um, you know, partway through the second, we started transitioning on them quicker, moving it up to our forwards and getting the puck and just going right up. And then you get them stuck in between. But uh, for the most part, their forecheck was really good, their neutral zone forecheck, and they do a good job taking away our wings. And we just need to make sure we do a better job getting back on the puck quicker, making sure we transition quicker. Because once we set up, they, they're, they've got us where they want to. And when we do it quickly, um, we can catch them off guard or catch them on a change or in between getting in position or not. So, 5-1 is a good, good score. How do you get your players ready for tomorrow? That's going to be a tough one. It um, realistically doesn't have much meaning. Um, so it'll be a good chance to get all the young guys playing. Um, uh, you know, I don't think they need any motivation, so I expect a great effort from all those guys because uh, you know, once they get a chance, it's, uh, it's an audition for, for the rest of this year and next year. So motivation-wise, for the older guys, we, we're just going to small goals, try and keep our – we have the goals against the average lead right now, so that's one goal we want. And you know, getting the win is the big one. So could be a pretty special atmosphere right there because um, there seems to be some action uh, for keeping the ice uh, open. Yeah, I hope so. Then it was a lot more fun to play in because yeah. I played in that rink and no one's been there, and it's it's kind of a dead atmosphere. So I hope uh, a bunch of people show up. That makes it fun, and that gives the guys motivation when there's a bunch of people there. Guys enjoy playing it, and you know, they see the atmosphere today. And the guys enjoy that, and they, they have more fun with it when there's less people. It's not as fun. So. Uh, hopefully we can give them a, a bad send off and uh, their last game is a loss, but uh, we'll go out and work hard and uh, hopefully you know, keep the goals against down. If my information is right, it will be Sunday afternoon against Leuk, first playoff match here after you've been there. Yeah, the plan is, uh, from what I saw, was Saturday uh, there and Sunday here. Um, I guess that's tentative until we talk to them for sure, make sure they have ice, but that's the plan. Um, and uh, it'll be nice. I think an uh, afternoon Sunday game is always fun. I think uh, get uh, get some young fans here who can't normally come at 8, 830. Um, I think it's a, it's a good time for a hockey game and a uh, good time for us to uh, win the second game of the series. Good luck with the preparing of the team. Face off won door Marco Posma. Ronald Wurm, Tony de Meline, die probeert het dan met de backhand en dan is het uiteindelijk... Ronald Wurm, gemakkelijk was anders, hè? Uh, nou ja, gemakkelijk. We hebben nooit echt gemakkelijk tegen hun gehad. Eén wedstrijd zijn we over ze heen gegaan, maar voor de rest waren al die andere wedstrijden best wel, best wel close. Ik vind ze ook best wel goed spelen. Ze werken hard. Het is altijd lastig als, als zij vol in alle duels gaan. En uh, ik vind het gewoon een goede, goede ploeg. Wij zijn wel beter, maar ik vind het uh, ook een goede ploeg hebben.